Hey everyone, I'm Nathaniel, CEO at Pickaxe. Today I wanted to make a quick video about advanced PDF generation. Uh, you may have all seen, a lot of people have connected the action that allows you to generate a PDF uh, and allows your tool to generate PDFs. Um, and this is actually the most connected action. Um, but one problem you may have all noticed is that uh, you can really only generate pretty basic PDFs and getting it to generate the same type of PDF every single time can be difficult. Um, and the reason for this is that this basic PDF generator only allows you to, um, it basically just recreates the PDFs every time anew from scratch using the AI and so it's not always the best bet if you want to do more consistent stuff. I wanted to just briefly show how you could adjust this action in order to make it so that you can get a consistent PDF that's exactly what you want every time. And in doing so, there will be some coding involved. Um, but hopefully we can make this uh, more clear and, and generally um, it's not too much complicated stuff, so it, it should be easy to get into. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this action. Pretty straightforward. And now we can go and see um, what was going on under the hood. Uh, we're just taking in HTML and we're adding this library called XHTML to PDF and we're getting uh, in the code, all we're doing is just sticking that HTML into a file, um, into a PDF file using this this library. So this there's literally no more basic code that you could possibly get. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to talk to ChatGPT. Um, and I'm going to say, hey, ChatGPT, um, I want you to generate uh, me HTML code that would generate a PDF. Um, through, and then maybe we'll copy this library that uh, is a standard format invoice. Maybe, yeah, we'll just do invoice. Okay, so blah, 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 it's doing its thing. Cool. Let's give it a moment. Okay, so it's given us some code. Why don't we just go over to one of these real-time HTML editors and just see what this looks like. Okay, it basically looks like this. Invoice, uh, Acme Corp, whatever. All good stuff. This looks generally good. Uh, okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna change this action. And what we'll do is we will put this invoice HTML as a string. Um, so we'll call it invoice HTML. And we'll use the triple quotes. In Python, the triple quotes are uh, help you to have multi-line uh, strings. So not too crazy. And we've got this big uh, string, which is, which is all this information. So now, if I look over here, We've got Acme Corp. We've got all this stuff. Uh, why don't we say that um, we want to change a couple of these things automatically um, as we're going through? So let's say that we want to change, um, you know, the name of the company, and we want to change maybe uh, the price of the. Uh, web, well, we, maybe we want to we want to adjust uh, an item uh, and change its price. Um, so we can do that, you know, in a pretty straightforward way. Um, why don't we just start by saying, "Hey, we don't actually want to do the PDF HTML in its entirety anymore. We want to do 
uh, the company name. We want to do, uh, and we'll call it Acme, will be the example, uh, name of company. We also want to do, um, we want to do the, um, you know, item type. Uh, and the example is like web services, sure. And the description is, you know, type of item. And finally, we want to do uh, item price. And the description will be price of item, and uh, maybe it'll be five hundred dollars. Okay, so uh, you know you can you have a lot of different things that you want to change. If this is a letter, maybe the whole text body is 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 set automatically. This is just an example. Now, if we go back over to the code, we'll see that we've got company name, item type, and item price variables set. So this is great. We can just go into our big string here and say, okay, well, where is it saying the company name? Okay, here, it's saying the company name, Acme Corp. And you know, this will vary depending on what you're exactly doing, but we can just put our triple quotes again and put plus and uh, put another plus and put our triple quotes again. Cool. So now we've 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 got the company name in there. Awesome. We won't change the address for now. We won't change uh, who it's to, but we'll go and look for this item, website design, and we will replace it with uh, item type and uh, great. And we will replace the price with, I think it's item underscore price. Okay. And now the last thing we've got to do is we will change uh, this so that invoice HTML is what's getting set here. Okay. So this might have seemed kind of complicated, like we're getting into the code. Um, but at the end of the day, ChatGPT has helped us a lot with this. Uh, so let's go ahead and save this action. And let's give it a try. So uh, generates an invoice when asked. Sure. So now I'll say, uh, hi, uh, I'm with Pickaxe. I'm selling Pickaxe Pro for uh, $97 a month. Um, generate me an invoice. Okay, moment of truth. Cool, okay, the invoices to pickaxe. Some of the formatting has gotten a little bit messed up, but we can see that it's got a pickaxe pro subscription and it's $97 a month. Uh, probably the reason why the formatting is a little messed up is just because of the way this HTML is rendering in a PDF, um, but we can just go a couple more rounds with ChatGPT and have it make some code that's a little bit more flexible. But at a high level, we got what we wanted. We made this different type of action um, that allowed us to generate a very custom PDF. And, uh, and so now we can put this in all our tools. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, we're excited to see what you build.